surrogacy uh, in South Africa, denying them travel documents to get into the country. Um, the parents actually want the children to come and join them in the country because one of the parents is a Namibian citizen. The other member of the couple is uh, a Mexican. However, the two parents of the twins uh, were married in 2014 in South Africa, but they've been living in Namibia. So what they did is that they had children by surrogacy, twin, twin daughters, Paula and Maya, in South Africa. However, when they tried to enter Namibia, they were denied entry into the country. So right now, there, are de there was a demonstration that actually took place on Friday where the Namibia Equal Rights Movement went to the ministry headquarters and they were accusing the minister of homophobia, of discriminatory practices, of infringing on the rights of the family to be together. However, on the other side of the continuum, uh, there is uh, talk of the legislation of Namibia not recognizing same-sex couples, not recognizing same-sex marriage, therefore the children are not recognized to be the biological children of the gay couple. So it's a story that is continuing and the court case is, uh, the, court, the court case has started but uh, the judge is only going to give judgment in April. I think uh, around the mid-April. So right now we have uh, Mr. Van, Fier Van Rienen, who is the co-founder for the Namibia Equal Rights Movement, just to tell us a bit more about the case. So we were protesting against the minister's um, homophobic policies, um, which has created uh, stateless children, um, which has violated the constitutional rights to a family. Um, which has violated the best interests of the Namibian children. We were protesting against the discrimination that um, is blatantly being projected by the ministry, um, which has provided no legal grounds um, for the unequal treatment of families, um, the discrimination as an infringement on, on the human dignities of LGBTQ people, um, the discrimination from the ministry, which is a violation of um, our international obligations as Namibia, and the discrimination that's really coming from a crusade of state-sponsored homophobia from um, the government and the ministry. When, when has this same, um, this same threshold been applied to any heterosexual couples who have, who have adopted, who have had surrogacy um, in Namibia or, bro, or, or abroad? The, this, is, this is just a different standard that this minister is having. And in the constitution, uh, genetic DNA, biological linkage, um, that, that is not the sole measure of parentage. So um, the Namibian president has stated, uh, right when he got elected into office, that you know gays aren't oppressed here, gays aren't prosecuted in the country. But it's evident that the existence of these colonial and these apartheid-era penal codes, they grant the state a license to discriminate against the LGBTQ community. Mm. But these arbitrary infringements on human rights that criminalize sodomy and homosexuality, homosexuality um, they, they, they are arbitrary. And it also just shows that the lack of LGBTQ pr protections in Namibia, it entrenches stigma and it encourages discrimination which has allowed the Ministry of Home Affairs to abuse their power and enforce homophobic policies. Homophobic policies that is violating the human rights of Yana and Paula and Maya's right to be reunited with their family and to obtain citizenship. So let's let's just put let's put gay rights aside. Let's look at the fact that these are human rights, human rights of children that are being violated solely based on the fact that this government has a homophobic policy or a homophobic outlook on society. 
Uh, I mean, I was, uh, we were born in Cuba, me and my sister. We yes. came to Namibia in 1990. We yes. only got our citizenship by descent in 1996 because we had to prove and our parents yes. had to stay in the country for, for four years before they could get. And I, I mean, it's a rigorous process because we were born in Cuba, we had Cuban citizenship. So we had to but renounce they, that. So it seems like they don't want to follow the law. No, no, but for you, for you, there was no, no dispute. Because your father and your mother are all Namibians. There was no dispute. Mm. Even if it was a matter of time, mm. your Namibian citizenship by descent, mm. it cannot be disputed. Mm. Yeah, but this one, mm. the one, one father is Mexican and one is Namibian. Mm. Which one? Which one has fathered those kids? Mm. Mm. That's what they we are asking for that proof only. Mm. And the science is there to prove it. Mm. They don't want to do that. Mm. They, they they want to they call us names and we are very unfair colors. <clears throat> you name it. Mm. But they must, what the court has to be careful about is Namibian citizenship by descent. Mm. It, it means that it cannot mean anything else. Mm. Yeah, and it, if, 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 if people want to bring people here to import people for Namibia, then we have a big problem. Mm. Besides the case of Maya and Paula, they also have a, a, a brother, an older brother, who is also being denied citizenship. Uh, that case will be heard in June. However, we would like to see how the Namibian legal system is going to balance this, because obviously Namibia is a liberal has a liberal constitution, so the right to human dignity is guaranteed by the by the Namibian constitution. However, what is going to be determined in the court is whether same-sex couples can have children and whether those children will be legally uh, legally recognized in Namibia. So for now, please uh, drop your comments, give us, share your views. Is it a democratic space? Are the Namibian, is the Namibian legal system backward? Do we have to move forward with the times? In terms of this whole story, can you please drop your views? share the comments, discuss this with your friends so that we can get to the bottom of the story. Thank you.